Are you searching a way to learn how to code? Are you thinking about being a computer programmer? If you are, you came to the right channel. Today, we're going to go over pros and cons for going for self-taught to a coding boot camp. When you're learning self-taught computer programming, you can definitely find all the resources you need for free or for very low cost. And that is usually a big reason why people choose self-taught developer route is because of the free and low cost information that you can get to learn how to code for free. I actually made a video about that before, about how open it is to find all the information you need to learn how to do your first help hello world and build your first web application. But the con to being able to get it for free or low cost is you're overloaded with so many different options, so many different languages to learn. And that can be a downside because there's so much information that you get information overload, which can paralyze you because you just have too many options. Which then leads me into the next one, structure. Structure is something I struggled with when I was doing the self-taught route and a coding boot camp has eliminated that issue for me. Now that was an issue just for myself because there was so much information. I didn't know which route to actually take. Not everybody's like that. And you have to know how you learn or how you focus. And some people can create their own structure through all that chaos. I struggled with that. I was using Udemy and Free Code Camp, but it just wasn't enough. It wasn't, wasn't tailored enough for me. I wasn't getting enough feedback for my personal experience. And I found it very difficult. But there are lots of programs out there that are structured that you can use when you're going the self-taught route. With that being said, you have Free Code Camp. You have Pre-Code Camp. You have Odin project. You have courses on Udemy. I recommend Angela Yu. She did a full stack web development and she has a Python, 100 days of Python program. They're both really good. I like her teaching style, but it just still wasn't enough because it's a video on the internet, but I needed, I needed more right? When you're in a coding boot camp, you don't have to worry about that stuff because it's all laid out. All the curriculum is already made and set up for you, which leads me to the next one, which is community. What I found is you can find a community when you're going the self-taught route. There's plenty of options, Reddit, YouTube, Udemy, discords, all kinds of different ways, but it it is a little bit different. And for me, I didn't find a great way to get in except for meetups in my local community. And Coding Bootcamp has given me a community that's working at the same pace that I am and also the same work that I'm doing. So it's been a little bit nicer to have people to bounce things off of. I haven't utilized it as much as I probably should, but it is nice to know that I have the community because I paid for the Coding Bootcamp, which also is kind of like you find alumni and people in jobs and like you have that that same thing. Like, hey, we both went to insert Coding Bootcamp, which which can be another one because mentorship is part of building that network. You get a mentor, right? You get a teacher, somebody to work with, and why it's only temporary, it can help you get started. Being a self-taught developer can be lonesome, right? Because you're by yourself in your office learning by yourself and maybe not a lot of people to share the wins with or explain the stuff to, and it can be difficult. It can be very difficult with a coding boot camp. You have other team members in your cohort, other classmates that you can talk to and share these victories with, and they understand where you're at and they're going through the same things as well. Just remember to celebrate theirs too. Flexibility is another one. If you're doing the self-taught route, you can work around a full-time job, a family, kids, all these different things because you're doing it at your own pace and you can create your own schedule. This can be a gift and a curse because some people have the discipline to do that, to be up late at night working and studying by themselves for long periods of time, not just a short stint. Some people cannot. So this is a double-edged sword because you have lots and lots of flexibility with the self-taught route that you don't have with a coding boot camp. But in the same tune, you have lots of flexibility and there's not as much pressure. And sometimes that pressure is what helps you move forward. I know for me, the pressure of deadlines, having it finished, having to have my work finished and other things actually motivate me to work harder, spend more time working on it, not give up as quickly, not take a break as quickly because it feels like a real job and I have work to get done and I put my money where my mouth is. Self-taught, it doesn't feel that way as much, but once again, this is a personal question you have to ask yourself is, do you really have that kind of discipline or do you have that kind of time? Because maybe Maybe you don't have the discipline, but you're not in a rush. Okay, and then maybe that works for you. Sometimes when you're learning the self-taught route, you don't get to experience what a real professional code base looks like or how to work in teams. You can find some people on the internet, but it takes a little bit more effort. Finding other people to work with and work out of the same code base so you can work with conflict merges and things of that nature so you can learn how to work in a team that's working in the same code base. You can do this self-taught. I've done it. You can meet people. You also get that through coding bootcamp. It's just kind of forced upon you, I guess. I feel like that's something that's been a pro because I'm forced to work in teams more often. Career support. Now, while nobody is going to work harder for you to get a job than yourself, 
forth. With a coding bootcamp, you do get career services, at least at the one that I'm at. You get people that have an incentive to help you get a job. That's a kind of being self-taught because you might not have anybody that's advocating for you. You can find people, you can luck out, but not everybody will find someone self-taught to advocate for them. That's why you got to advocate for yourself. This is a con for coding bootcamp is that sometimes it's so much information so fast, it can be very overwhelming. Just like the self-taught route, trying to find a way to learn the same for coding bootcamp. It comes at you so fast. The only thing that's nice is that it's bite-sized and it comes in sections and it's just a lot of information to learn. You're not expected to learn at all overnight or that quickly, but they, they put a lot at you very quickly and it's so you get to touch a little bit of everything. Two miles wide and a half inch deep, but really what it comes down is what's your learning style? How do you interact with other people? What is going to fit you best? Because for everybody, it's something different and you got to know how you learn, how much money you're willing to put in this, how much time you got, what are your requirements? What are your holdback? You have to ask yourself this question, but I know if you choose a coding boot camp that you need to do your research. There are a lot of messed up coding boot camps out there. I know if you get on Reddit, you can see there are so many people getting burnt, getting done wrong. So make sure that you do your research. I recommend reaching out to 30 alumni that have it on their LinkedIn. Search that coding boot camp. Reach out to them. Talk to them. Ask them what their real thoughts are. Find people that graduated recently, people that graduated a while ago. Do your research. But whatever you do choose, just make sure you get started. Later.